Hello there, it's me, Sari, here again, and today I thought I'd show you what I'm working on at the moment. I saw Tracy Evans from All and Create. She had made a really fantastic flag book, and I started thinking, what on earth is a flag book? I had no idea. So I started browsing on YouTube and I saw various of tutorials, and they're all fine, and I just wanted to give it a go with my interpretation of it because I always like to work on these horizontal no vertical no ver yeah vertical items and since the thing is that when you're going to open up your book it's going to little, 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 flap up with a lot of flags and this is my version of it and I'm still working on it but I just wanted to give you a heads up or just to show you what I'm working with and I've used mostly stamps and stencils not that many stanzas actually from Dark Room Door. And it was fun to have a go with Dark Room Door stamps actually. And I have some tape pieces and bits here that I have used or made before on a jelly plate. So I just wanted to give it, give it a go incorporating them in this sort of do more of what makes you happy kind of book. So I think, oh, sorry about that. There are so many things in this cramped up workspace and I thought I'd just make some room for this one. So, are you ready? And I'm sorry about the lighting, there's so much sunshine outside, I just had to shutter it out actually. So, let's go. This is sort of, I think it's 31 centimeters and perhaps 11, something like that. So it's a really narrow book. And when you open it up, flap, it's going to flap up like this. And it is a bit pretty big and I can't really frame it better in this book. And the thing is that you have an accordion as a base. So, and basically if you can make an, an accordion, you can make this book, basically. And you need no measurements, I promise you, you need no measurement for this measurement, measurements. Just figure out what sizes your flags are supposed to be and just incorporate or just do the measurements after that. So make a... decide on the size of these and make a spine after that, the accordion spine, and then just uh, glue some paper on top of this spine. I have a bit of a piece of paper here that I have covered on two sides so the cover will be a little bit more sturdy and and the back side I'm not really sure what to do there I need to do there's something there of course but I just wanted to give you a heads up on this fun 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 book and I actually started making these pages by braying on some light acrylic paints. I started off with something really really light, went on with some stronger yellow, added on some green and some blue and then I did some stamping with stamps from Dark Room Door and then the tape bits of course that's something that is going to go be continuous it has a continuous flow throughout the book and there's no saying you need to stop at three flaps on either side. You could actually have as many as you want to. I just wanted to give it a go. And I must say that I had to struggle a bit. I mean, I know how to score things. I've got a lot of scoreboards and bone folders for that matter, but I somehow always end up getting some of the spine pieces going a bit wonky. And I did try to turn the paper over with each score line so everything should be all right. And it got a little bit better, so I must tell you that. So please bear in mind that if you're going to do a scoring, do it on one side, flip the paper over, do the next score and just flip flap in back and front. The thing that I was struggling with uh, at first, because I did make a prototype and I wasn't really happy about it. So an amateur as I was, I actually glued the piece of paper on top. So I had two pieces of paper that actually was visible like this. But what happened then was that it, become, it became a page that didn't flap because this mechanism mustn't be shut. That's why you have the accordion, see, you see. So the thing is that you are supposedly to have it like this. You could actually have it standing on your mantelpiece, perhaps. Then, it, then it's going to create some interest, I'm sure. And there is some room to do a bit of de bulky decorating. So that's something that I'm thinking of. Perhaps I could have some... Um, 
art stones or something, and a button or two, something fun to have in this book. So let me just show you some of the stamps that I have used. Let's see if I can find some of them. I did use this beautiful stamp and I actually stamped it with Versafine and then I poured on some really strong magenta embossing powder from Ranger. And then I used a fine liner pen to do the outline so it would, it would be a little, a little bit more visible. So this one is called DDRS111, Carved Flowers. And I must say that this is a stamp set really worth your money because there's a lot of wonderful flower stamps there. And then I did use, let's see if I can find some of the other ones. I did use this beautiful little bird and it, this is the bird and it's called Garden Birds, DDRS 190 it's called. And this one also contains quite a few stamps. And then I went ahead using this flower there and also that one flower. So I used both of these flowers from this set. DDRS 163 Fine Flowers Volume 1. And then I went ahead using, I think I mostly used the sayings from this one, Make Art Sentiment Stamps. And it's called DDSE 010. A lot of useful sayings there. And uh, let's see if I can find something else. For the grid pattern, I used that stamp. It doesn't look like much there, but boy, does it make a difference on your page. And I might have had it there. Let's see if I can find it somewhere else. I, I used it there as well. Not there. But I think I had it here on the front page as well. And I've also used the diagonals there, and I believe that those dashes also came into play here, for example. And the circles are there. And then I went ahead with this one. I, I forgot about uh, forgot to tell you what it's called. I'm sorry about that. Now everything is falling down. This one is called DDRS 174 Grunge Marks. It's a really useful set. And this one is called DDRS124 Paint Splats. And I used this one and those two in order to stamp the yellow background to this one. Then I used a small st text stamp. Maybe I'm an artist and maybe I ain't, but all my best clothes are covered in paint. Artist DDQS025, and I actually made this page the first, uh, and, and then I had these left over, and I thought I could actually have those there, so it could be a continuous story there. For the front, I used this one Do More of What Makes You Happy. This one is called Happy DDQS018, and I didn't use that one. So let's see if there is anything that I have forgotten to tell you about. So just look in the stamps from Dark Room Door. I've got them in my shop as well, Sari's Stamping Studio, if you're interested. If they're out of stock, just give me an email and I'll put you on a list and you can pre-order them. So that's basically it and I really fancy, I mean I, I struggle at first, I've, I've been thinking about this flag book for days now, browsing and scrolling through the YouTube videos and I thought oh, I'm just going to give it up and I thought no, sorry, give it a go, give it, your, give it a go really basically. So what I have to do now is, I think that it's nice to actually not have anything here but I'm thinking if I'm going to put something here it's going to be a narrow Thing, something a bit slimmer and it should be and I think it should be it could be something that is sort of neutral so it doesn't take overpower the one that's here and the same thing thing goes for this one I could have something perhaps a little bit of writing or something 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 light so these could be 
in the focus. And the same thing goes with these, of course, and these. And so just remember, make yourself an accordion, decide on how many pages you want and have fun. Don't give up. Don't give up. It's really, really fun, I must say. Bye-bye.